There we go. I think, maybe. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Uh, give me one second here. Ah, never mind that. Hey, hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to another episode of my Starfield Let's Play series. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all having yourselves a wonderful day. Uh, getting myself set up here to start my stream. Let me check the audios before I tell my little story. All right, me audios are looking good. <laughs> so, uh, get myself set up here to start me a little stream here. I kind of felt like I was getting myself into the cockpit of my spaceship, right? You know, I, I you normally keep my chair here, or just over that way a little bit. And then I push the chair up, and you get that laptop set up over here, get this one set up over here, get the, the camera set up on top of the laptop, and, and everything else, you know, it just, just kind of felt like I was getting myself set up into my little uh, cockpit of my little spaceship there, eh? Anyways, let's see here. I'm going to type a little something in the chat there. Someone can at me. Uh, let's get back into the game, shall we? We're going to do some looting. Looting and shooting. Now, we just finished clearing out this room. I remember this much. Um, let's put that away. I hurt someone with that. So the ship's hold is full, the cargo hold is full, right? Um, we're not going to be able to loot everything in here and have room for it without being over encumbered. Uh, but we're going to loot everything in here of any sort of value, regardless. And uh, be over encumbered. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to go around this side here. And yes, we are starting well early again today. Can't help it. Just can't help it. This game ever got my attention, wow. Choose your chunks. Now with sauce. Can't quite see it, but there's uh, chunks of meat there. It's little cubed chunks of meat. <coughs> Let's get that thing out of there. One second. Chunks egg. Some floor egg. Wonderful. Take that here. I got an apple in there. What else you got in there? Give me that. Nothing. Looks like some napkins. Got a bowl right there. Is someone not doing their dishes? Like, honestly? Got anything in the sink here? I'm gonna have to take that out of there. There we go. Nothing in the sink. Let's drop that plate because we're not gonna need it. It doesn't have much value to it. Oh, uh, yeah. Drop. There we go. It's a shame they don't break, right? Nothing in the mixing bowl. Alright, what do we got up here? Paper towel. Some more plates. Is that a camera? The busted ass camera. Ooh, weapons rack, eh? Well, give me some of those. Some ammunition. Bandages. Measuring tape. Give me one second here. I want to see something. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure my PP is bigger than that. That measuring tape is a lie. Anything in the bin? Nothing in the bin. Got a 
knife. Some tofu. Food tray. Let's see here. What's up here? Newton's cradle. This I kind of want for my ship, so I'm going to take that, I think. That's got a little bit of resale value. Same with that. You can sell that for a little bit. You know, so I'm really only taking things that are, have a value of over 100, right? The United Colonies become a part of the a better future. Yes. Indeed. Do it. <laughs> Nothing in there. Whoop. What was that? There we go. Uh, blender base. No, don't need that. No. Uh, I'll take that. Alien bug paperweight. I kind of want that for me, ship. Coffee mug. All right, well, moving on. <coughs> what was that? Yeah, there's some glitchiness happening right there. Look at that. Wow. Now, that's... Typically, that, that should be the other way around, right? Uh, when you're further away, it should look like this. When you get closer, it should look like that, right? It's a bit odd. The right fucking mess in there, in it. What is this? What is this? Bunch of garbage there, eh? Beaker tongs. Take that, I'll take that. Cake, nice. Take that. We got there. Pirates. You saw what I did there, right? The idea was to disable them. So that I could then take them out without being fired upon. What? Now looks like we got a couple right more there. motherfuckers up there. As if they couldn't hear me.
knock. Now look at you! All right, well, uh, my HUD's saying that there's no more hostiles nearby. Get back to the looting. Gross. All right, so we done came in on this side here at Airy. Start by uh, looting everything along the... Uh, Left side wall here. We'll work on the on the lower floor. Then we'll work on the interior here of the lower floor. Uh, then we'll head upstairs and see what we can find up there. The fuck was that? Aye, these bins. Aye. can't move the trash bags. I uh, dumpster diving in space. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, that's actually really cool. All right, oh, let's close this lid. There we go. Can we get inside this one here? Come on, carefully. Something with maybe a little more edge to it. And take this here. Nothing in there. All right. Okay, just making sure that I drop the thing there. Hazmat suit. Cool, I'll take you to that. Tissues. Aw, uh, them's will go boom. Fucking throws it. <laughs> I think we have one of these on the ship already. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. I feel like, I, I think I'm hearing thunder or something. I didn't think there was a shite storm scheduled for today. I say scheduled as, as if anyone has control over the weather. <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Them space pirates will get you. <laughs> Yeah, nah, bro, there's a total shite storm underway. <sighs> uh, oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, I think I hit that. That's what it was. Slight flash there. One second while I adjust some things. There we go. Alright, well, that. I kind of want to take that for me ship, though, right? Yeah, I suppose it is a centrifuge, isn't it? Isn't it? Lab coats. What are these? 
One second, I'll turn this off here. Nope, still can't see it because of the glare. There we go. Uh, cylindrical sol solution. Cylindrical solution? Can I, can I pick that up and move that? Nope, guess not. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Got my camera up. Uh, give me a quick second here. I want to go check some things. Nay? Alright. Uh, also, um, because there is a shite storm... Uh, I don't know why, but whenever there's a shite storm, the power typically goes out. Doesn't seem to happen here that often, but like you know, you know how it is, right? There's a big storm coming in, the thunder and the lightning. It's also very, uh, very frightening, and then the power goes out, and you have that one weirdo in the classroom that's ah! like, "Do you need a nightlight or something when you go to bed?" Monster Energy, locale. I've kind of gotten out of the habit of doing this. Sorry. Yeah, there goes the thunder again. So, uh, if the stream ends suddenly... Um, it's because the power went out. Obviously, right? Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. If it, the stream goes out like, like uh, really early, then... then uh, don't worry on you if you're watching this on the YouTubes. Uh, there will be another episode for the day. Uh, just to try and clear that. Uh, uh, just, just to try and give you your uh, three hours uh, dose of me. I know how much you all love me. <laughs> uh, narcissistic and much dairy. <laughs> I don't know why it does this. It's weird. There's nothing in there anyways. You ever feel that the, the, the people, the, the devs, the game designers, they just kind of make this, they, they, they throw this kind of shit here just to make uh, some, some something up, you know, that none of it ever actually means anything. A any Anyone ever actually uh, look into any of this stuff, see if it actually means anything? Anyone? Anyone at all? Also, um, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, look at this one here, right? It's on the uh, left side, right? And then we have the square of some shite there, right? Right? It's not the reversed image. I'm kind of disappointed about that. But it is a video game. What more can you expect from a video game? Honestly, right? Honestly. You can't really expect that much out of a video game. Can this be opened? It looks like that can be opened. Give me something to poke it with. It's not really doing anything. But yeah, if any of y'all in the comments section want to tell me what this is, this one right here, that'd be cool. Oh, hey, does this one move? Oh, cool, it moves! Okay. Oh, Jesus, shit. One second. Okay, so I guess that explains how some of them um, are too heavy to pick up, right? Come across the few that were too heavy to pick up. I guess they were supposed to be full of water or something. <laughs> they just slide all those out of there. Awesome. All right, can we put them all back in? Radiology. Interesting.
One second, I'm gonna knock this over this way. Not that way, nope. That way, there we go. All right, let's see, can we put these things back in there? No, we're not trying to shoot them. Oh, that was weird. Did I just throw that by pressing the X button? Maybe. Yeah, those are not going back in there. Can I get up there? Okay. Stupid game. What's this? It's like a shoebox. One second again, I think the shite storm has struck. Alright, I'm back, and, uh, yeah. The skies have been torn asunder. One second while I adjust some things again, we'll get back into the gameplay. Ah, uh, farty poop. I, uh, uh, so I say a lot of stupid stuff like that some, uh, some I say sometimes, but no, uh, all the time. Uh, most especially while I'm off camera. Uh, one of the <laughs> I, 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 I swear I almost died laughing, right? I said booty queef. <laughs> farty fart 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 queef fart queef farty queef fart 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 queef uh, booty queef. And as soon as I said booty queef, I was like, I, 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 I almost died laughing. <laughs> Fucking booty queef. <laughs> all right, back into the game. Back to Luton. Uh, I think we're going to leave this little section here. This little uh, raised platform. Uh, for a moment. Donk. 
Let's see here. Notebook. Nothing under that. Nope. Can't. Hip! Hip! Desk toy thing. Nope. I don't care about that. Can I not? Well, what the hell? It's that clothes rack. I'm sure of it. That's what's in the way. Why am I crouching? There we go. No, I'm not about to forget about the bodies on the floor. Loot the bodies on the floor. Loot the bodies on the floor. Loot the bodies on the floor! <laughs> One's got some loot for me. Two's got some loot for me. Three's got some loot for me. <laughs> that doesn't move, all right. Loot the bodies on the floor. Loot the bodies on the floor. What the fuck is this thing? What is this? No idea what that is. Smashing expensive lab equipment. Nothing in the bin. That go boom, that'll go boom. Give me that. I think that was there is from the Terra Morph. Digipix, metabolic agent, cool, I'll take that. You know what? Sit up straight. That's bad for your back. Credits. I'll take those. Nothing else in there. This is a fridge. The doors are missing. It's turned on inside, but that's one of those fridges. So they are containers. Cool. I think this might be an elevator or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's a fridge door. See that? Can't pick that up though. I think that's yeah, that's a fridge door. See fridge. What we got in here. Look at that. Nothing good there. Molecule extractor. Cool. That's worth a little something. Is that a safe? What is this? Danger. Med pack, and I'll take that. Yeah, just string them through the, ch the stairs. Oh, and whoops. Uh, up. There we go.
take those. Ever heavy? I think that's what that noise was. Sounded like someone was reloading or something. Molecule extractor. Anything in here? So notepads or a nope, that's a folder. It's stuck in there. I think that's all that was in there. Biohazard. Lab coats, safety glasses, and gloves required. Medical sample tray. Is that upside down? Yeah, it was upside down. What are these? And then good and all that? Nope. Well, I'll take that. Can I... Screwdriver, maybe, if we can grab a hold of that. There we go. Alright, that thing's not moving. Ah, uh, that is the other piece of... Yeah, the, the, this green piece goes on top of that. Okay, there's no med, ki med kit in there, then. Uh, weapon case. What do we got? Take those. Is there anything behind the weapon case? I probably should have checked before I opened it. Nope. Alright. Nothing down there. So what do we got on this computer here then? Project Pet Shop. Project Pet Shop. Hyden Wynn, Senior a Xenobiologist, Crete Research Facility, Project Log, February 11th, 2307. That's my fucking birthday! <laughs> my staff and I are just... <laughs> My staff and I just arrived this morning, and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colonies is spared no expense. It's all very exciting, inspirational really, knowing you have the full support of the decision makers. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn uh, that the uh, lab was, is a, a closely guarded secret, located in Freestar Collective Space, no less. But we go where the work takes us. Xeno Warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it, and the Freestar Collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the uh, calendar says. This is a this is 1942 all over again. We uh, may as well be the Manhattan Project, racing to create the uh, game changer before the other side. Do I want to give you guys a re real life history lesson right now? So to that effect, I am uh, overjoyed to officially announce uh, Project Pet Shop. Phase 1 is a go. 1949, this is World War II, right? Can't remember if that's when it started or when it finished. The Manhattan Project is a project uh, the, uh, the, um, the Americans were working on to build the atomic bombs that, that were dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, uh, Fat Man and Little Boy. There's your history lesson for the day. I know, it all went in one ear and out the other, but who cares?
Arthropods. The arthropods are, in a word, incredible. Calm, easy to work with, uh, and they even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has uh, thus far been nearly instantaneous, and uh, their control fidelity has remained in the 95 to 97% range. They've passed all environmental uh, survivability tests as well. Hot, cold, low, or no oxygen? I'm pretty sure these things could uh, operate effectively in any environment. Most promising is how well they've uh, already integrated, integrated with the uh, Red Devils, who have uh, joined us for a period of extended training. After all, they'll be uh, leading the creatures into combat, so it's crucial that they establish a uh, war bond. Now, I wasn't paying too much attention. Fuck it, no spoilers for you guys either. It might have been a slight spoiler for me, but I'm not going to give you guys this spoiler. Success! After months of testing and a variety of extraterrestrial species, I am overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will survive as the backbone of the United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division. The arthropods are everything we hoped for and more. Imagine a pack of alien beasts suited to any terrain, capable of instantly obeying any command. I have designated these creatures Obedientis Pests, but we... Just call them stalkers. Are these the Crete stalkers? I think it may finally uh, be time to crack open that bottle of uh, uh, Chateau of Avignon 2170. The Red Devils. The Red Devils' uh, progress uh, with the stalkers has been uh, nothing less than amazing. Now, I see why they are so highly regarded in the UC military circles. None of the rah-rah uh, bullshit you see uh, with the uh, regular grunts. These are uh, focused uh, professionals. After another week of training here in the uh, pet shop, I'm uh, confident they'll be ready for a, a live test in the field. Michelson suggests I contact Colonel uh, Kazarov and uh, find out where his uh, marines uh, grabbed that spider from uh, the, earlier tri the early trials. He wants his uh, comeuppance, but then it, it would make for a good trial. See, these things here, if you're spending the time to read them and fi find them, right? They really give you something to fear down here. Though, as I found out, it's what's out there that you need to be scared of. Sorry, I stuck in the corner there. Um, so I think we're going to get back to here and search this raised platform. I mean, I really don't think there's anything on the raised platform. But let's take ourselves a nice little look here. Oh, I don't think this is an elevator. No. Oh, oh no. This is not an elevator. This was containment. Shit. Microbial containment uh, contamination. Yeah, this is probably where they are housing that terror morph, if I had to guess. It floats. I highly doubt that his body would float. I mean, look at all the uh, metal gear that he's got on him, right? Particularly like this, right? That is a lot of floating. Now, what about these guys? What if you throw them in here? Will they come back as zombies or something? This one's a bit in the way. One sec.
Nope, not zombies. All right. <laughs> so yeah, this this looks like where they were trying to contain the the uh, terror morph. Yeah, that thing. That's what we're gonna click. Med pack. Why are they all bald? Like, there's, I don't even see stubble there, right? Like, like as, as though they were shaven. They, they are bald. Okay, well, this one has stubble. I guess they're not all bald. They're either bald or shaven. Nothing in there, all right. Nothing back there. Med pack, take that. See, I think it is as uh, playing the uh, Tomb Raider games, the early Tomb Raider games back on the PlayStation One. It's gotten me doing shit like this, right? I don't know if you, any of y'all, played those games, right? But like all the secrets and stuff that you can find, you just look around in every nook and cranny. Right, so that doesn't close, which probably means the other one doesn't open. Can I move that? <gasps> oh, wow! Big bada boom! I think that's a, a collectible right there. Give me a second. I want to go see this pretty little thing. I'm going to save the game in case something stupid happens. And, and, and uh, whoop, that's not how you save the game. Now we have to go and find it, too. Uh, we're going to save the game just in case like it falls through the floor or some shite, which is absolutely awful. All right, inventory. Um, probably in miscellaneous, right? Uh, what was it? Plush cat? Plushy cat. <laughs> there does seem to be a few of these things in the, in the world. Uh, bobble, kind of like the bobbleheads in Fallout, I do believe. I've never played Fallout. Where did it go? Uh, for fuck's sakes. Where the hell did it go? What the hell?
What went boom? That was weird. Yeah, well, we're just going to leave that in our inventory for now and maybe take care of that later. Clipping. Too heavy to carry. Interesting. Molecule extractor. Whoopsies. Can we open that bin there? I don't think so. Notebooks. Too heavy to carry. Are these the lids for that? Maybe not. Maybe. Because <laughs> in height. Why does that look like it was drawn on the floor? Oh, that, that, those are those heat leeches, okay. Put it in here. Nothing, okay.
Something's trying to collide with something else there. Too heavy to carry. That one's too heavy to carry, alright. Oops, now we're inside again. Yeah, these guys are a fair bit heavier, aren't they? Can those move? No, I don't think those talons or teeth things there move. I think I dented it. No? Okay. that microscope there it's got a little value to it hazmat suit I'll take me that too there wonder if that goes boom Guess not. Ah, uh, you load. There's no eye in synergy. Infected specimen. If container is a breach, to contact the local health authorities. All right, so we're back here at the door again. Um, I think the only thing we haven't searched is this dude. <laughs> nothing here, nothing here. All right, well, upstairs, I suppose.
because I know there's not much around this side and we're headed that way. So we're going to start on the right side here. How many credits do we have? Not worth it, really, really not worth it, nope. See, search everywhere. Got bolt cutters back there too, eh? My friend will be. See that? Search everywhere. Some more chunk. Might be able to if I can. This thing too. No, not gonna. Might be able to. There we go, there we go. Off to this side. Nope, alright. My friend will be. Search everywhere, folks. To the stairs here again. Okay, I'll grab that. Come on, up. Get you out of the way. <laughs> okay. Uh All right, looks like the only spot I can sit is right there. Um Well, uh, give me a second to fix that. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, photo mode.
looking for the right composition here. There we go. <laughs> All right, back to work. Enough playing around. Take that. Take that. There we go. Ah, shit. Good enough. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll continue on this way then. Sticking to the left here this time. Weapon case. Whoa. Experimental analysis of a select clone cell. That there, I believe that is the Terramorph. Oh, hey, it's Jade Druka. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, to the, welcome back. How are you doing today? Hope you're having yourself a, a wonderful day. About to sleep, but thanks for going live today. Uh, I do almost every day, except for the last of the month. That is a guarantee because, well, the last weekday of the month, that is. Uh, that's when I get paid. That's when I do my groceries for the month. So you said you found, um, you, you followed my Twitch here after finding one of my um, VODs on YouTube, right? Uh, 
I was hoping to ask uh, which which video that was, which was just out of curiosity. I am just finished watching part of a tournament and have been enjoying it. Awesome. Uh, which way am I facing here now? This way. There we go. Now, you might think I'm crazy trying to check underneath the desks and everything. Uh, yep, believe it was Astroneer. Might be incorrect. Okay. Thank you. See, so, yeah, as I was saying, you might think that I'm crazy checking under the desks in here and everything, but... Uh, I have found two collectibles, I believe, two collectibles so far. Um, this guy, my friend Wilby, and this thing, which makes noise too. I can't. I, uh, if I drop it right now, it might disappear though. But it makes noise. Yeah, the, the uh, space cat was behind a storage crate, and the other little green plushy dude was uh, uh, behind a vending machine. This year, I uh, didn't watch far into it because of avoiding spoilers, but I liked your uh, personality and voice, so I wanted to uh, uh, find your Twitch. Awesome, thank you. Which of my personalities did you like the most? <laughs> uh. That's a joke. <laughs> See here. Nothing in there. No fuck run. That's not quite what I meant to do. Uh, no worries, I am a bit of a collector in games myself. I have no idea how many... Message from Kiri. No idea how many uh, times I've been caught searching uh, the strangest corners and it having worked. Yeah, that happens, yeah. That joke got a chuckle out of me. Hey, hey, all, all of the above. <laughs> Uh, one sec. Uh, my cousin's messaging me. Uh, quickly answer them. What, what's this thing here? No, this one here. Ah, oh, why? There we go. I think one of the reasons I do this is because one of the first video games I started playing uh, way back in the day was the uh, old Tomb Raider games for the PlayStation 1, right? And you had all sorts of little secrets and things hiding all over the place like that, right? You had to check every nook and cranny for things. Did I loot this yet? Yep. Oh, hey. Canuck Double Double. <laughs> Ah, Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah, Tomb Raider. Uh, so the reason I think this is so funny, right? Let's see here. Where is it? Oh, that would be a new items. Here we go. <laughs> Canuck double double, right? Uh, a Canuck is, I think, a slang, ter slang term. I think that's the word, the word for it, slang. Uh, for Canadians, we're Canucks, right? A, a double double is a, a coffee. Two sugar, two creams. <laughs> right? Um, apparently, a lot of people that aren't Canadian in other parts of the world, they, they have no idea what a double-double is. <laughs> and they, they hear that, and they're like, no, it's not called that. You're trying to make a fool of me. I'm going to go up to the desk, ask for a double-double, and, and, and they're going to be like, what is wrong with you, sir? <laughs> this isn't Tim Hortons. We sell coffee. <laughs> like, no, we call it a double-double. <laughs> uh, three sugars, three cream. That's called a triple-triple. Um... Even here in Canada, uh, when you're asking for four sugars and four creams, it's called a four by four. And even then, people will be like, what? <laughs> I prefer four by fours. Um, and at that point, it is one part sugar, one part cream, two parts coffee. Right? So, so you get your cup. All this is sugar and cream. This much is coffee. It tastes like candy. <laughs> it's really good. I don't like coffee all that much, which is why I like so much sugar and cream in it. 
Uh, did Kiri get back to me? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that's this room cleared. Uh, can I move that one? Probably not. Same, no worries, yeah. Oh, those will go boom. These things look like the scream canisters uh, from Monsters, Inc. I know I've said that a bunch, but... Um, well, that's not where I wanted it to go. What's this? No idea what that is. Oh, there is Kiri. All right, one sec. There we go. So you're gonna sleep. Glad I can catch you live, even if it's only being saying goodnight every time. No problem. Thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. You have yourself a good night. I'll try not to blow myself up. <laughs> Looks like something's supposed to be stored in that. It's a shame we can't take the uh, the uh, big old water jugs there for the water coolers. Pick those up. What are those? Those little button looking things. What are those? I suppose picking up those containers to see if there's anything in them like, isn't really the best of choices, right? Because like when you pick stuff up like that that's got something in it, there seems to be some sort of collision issue and it gets thrown at your face. And at that point, everything goes everywhere and you have no idea what was in it. What is this? Those aren't moving. Let me grab something and hit those with it. Yeah, no, they don't move. Growers, extract, incube, grow. Extract, incubate, grow. Some sort of incubator, I'm assuming. Molecule extractor, that's worth a bit of money. Spins. Paper cup or foam cup. Another one of these weird things. No idea what that is. Credits, I'll take those. Med pack. Can I pick you up, please? Why can't I pick him up? Oh, 
Uh, I think he's solid and part of the terrain. Whoops. That he cannot be picked up. Too heavy to move, or to carry, I should say. That's what it says, anyways. Nope, put this away. There we go. Yeah, hey, yellow one. I don't think I've seen a yellow one here before. Uh, these ones that can be picked up and moved, are they containers? Can I, can I put stuff in them? Cup right here. Give me that cup. No, nope, they are not containers. All right. All right, door, door. So. Listen up. We got someone Shit. trying to jump our score. Hold them off here. Our broken sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. Sounds like he's this way somewhere. All right, well, um, let's try and be quiet here. I want to get caught. Oh, hey, look at that. That out of the way. Dumpster. Anything behind the dumpster? Anything over here? Nope. Oh, hey, look at these things. They used to give us uh, these things at school uh, uh, during gym class to sit on and scoot around with. That was fun. Nothing back there. Aluminum. Oh, we'll take that. Fiber. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, analgesic. Sealant. Antimicrobials. Cool. And looks like there's. Oh, wait. What was that? A pharmaceutical lab. Oh, cool. I can make pharmaceuticals here, I think. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Cool. <coughs> Snake oil. <laughs> More real life nonsense, right? Nonsense. A good description of what penicillin. Oh, right, no, I was thinking of something else. All right, so uh, snake oil, right? Extracted from a snake stone uh, uh, located in the head of a snake. Uh, these things are typically beans, and that's what you're getting is beans. Um, it's bullshit, all of it. Snake oil is bullshit. It's a real-world thing that, uh, that um, uh, people uh, they, they, they love their essential oils uh, to cure all things uh, tend to to buy is snake oil. Swap container. Vials, vials, vials. Can I have that? I want that. Give me that. No, not that. I want those little cactus looking things. I think dams are supposed to be windows. And then they're just, the blinds are closed. What 
is that? This is the first one I've seen that has anything in it. Hey, my friend will be. And a med pack. Sweet. All right. Can I get this thing out of here? There we go. Come on. Pull. Nothing in there. All right. So I'm guessing my friend will be there is not as rare as uh, a uh, collectible as I may have anticipated. Or thought. The heck is this thing? Wait, 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 wait. And put this on the table over here one second. Try and get that to land upright. Nope. All right. Huh. Grab me that. What the heck is this? Pretty sure those are useless. Surgical bowl. Seal lint, I'll take that. Alright, so yeah, we're back here again. I think that is everything in this room. I think that storm there passed. Is that a safe? Mm, 
guess not. Is there really nothing in here? I guess there really is nothing in this room. Alright, well, uh, trouble. We found some. Jesus Christ. Trouble. Right. Reload this. Um. See what else we got for weapons here. I just got some kick. Now, as I found out, we don't really need to have the the uh, cutter favorited, right? Uh, we can just use our scanner, and that will automatically bring out our cutter. So uh, I want to see if we can get uh, an idea just how many of them are out there. Oop, down. Okay, so we have that one up there. I think we're just going to try and take out that guy and see what our uh, HUD des decides to uh, show us uh, in, in the way of uh, more baddies. We'll wait for him to get right there. We're going to shoot him in the knee. When he drops, we're going to shoot him in the head. Or we're going to fucking miss. Alright, looks like there's three of them up there. I don't think they know that I'm here yet. Or where I am, I mean. Surely they know that I'm here. Well, I lost him.
Did he just blow himself up? Hey up! I got you! I can clearly fucking see you. Why can't I fucking shoot you? Not done yet. Ow. Motherfucker. Alright, so I think we've cleared out this uh, room here, maybe. Uh, let's go see what kind of goodies we can find in here, right? Hazmat suit, cool, I'll take that. Oliver Twist, cool. The fruit seller. Yeah, that's what happens when you take a container that's got something in it, flies at your face, and you lose all its contents. You have no idea what was in there. Side, I wonder. Oh, also, um, let's see here. Now we can see my pretty face. I mean, sort of. <laughs> We're still playing in first person, so not really. And the camera's always behind you, so uh, e e even if not, you know, not really. All 
Alright, we'll come back for this room shortly. Well, I say shortly, but like I don't know how long it's going to be for me to search this room here. That's one heckin' big dildo. Not there. Haven't searched there yet. Hey, it's one of those trilobites from the surface. I say surface as if I'm underground. But, um, yeah. They really do uh, almost look like the Conchu uh, from, uh, I was about to say Dragon Age 4. No, uh, from Monster Hunter 4. I right, can't pick that one up. Can I pick that one up? It's over here. Nothing over here. Well, that's a bit weird. Oh yeah, I think it has to do with the collision when something's colliding with something like that when you try and pick it up. Search this room after as well. Same with this room. Huh. There's probably something wrong with your toast if you can stick a knife in it and have it stand up like that. Search this room after two, yep. Big bada boom. the heck is that? Oh, shit. There we go. I thought I was stuck for a second there. That's just part of the hose or something. All right. Not containers. Don't need to worry about them. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Got him. Nothing in there. Whatever it may have been in either of those has certainly gone flying.
Yeah, I'd probably be able to go through this a lot quicker in VR, eh? Yes, a thousand times, yes. Someone brewing coffee? I smell coffee. Can't move that, all right. came in from that way yep okay Jesus Christ Uh, novice, huh? Well, I'm sure we'll search that room shortly, <laughs> just as well. Alright, well, let's search the uh, center area of this room. Uh, let's see here. Microscope right there. Nothing in there. Neon gang culture. Cool, got another book. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? A staple gun? A staple gun.
Desk fan, I'll take that. Nothing in the bin, eh? I mean, it didn't glitch out all over the place, so probably not. Nothing in the bin. Lamp planter, cool, I'll take that. I think I might want that for myself. Alright, so that's the center area of the room. Uh, let's start uh, searching the uh, adjacent rooms here. Those don't open. I guess those don't open, okay. Huh. Yeah, that thing doesn't move. Nitrogen solution. All right. Kidney dish. Some vials. Yeah, we are over encumbered again. But we don't exactly have anywhere to put things anymore. Um, syringe, gross. Right, we, our uh, cargo hold is full. And I'm pretty sure um, our captain's safe is full. But uh, it's not going to stop me from looting shit, is it? That's worth a little bit of money. Oh, well, some shit sure happened here, didn't it? Yeah, those little plants don't move. That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I'm up here now, I guess.
fucking stuck. Never mind. Kinda wish Vasco was here so that they uh, I could give them some of me shit. Scientific sample was this. A couple balls in there or something. Oh, what was that? Med pack. You see why you search everything? I know I've said this a lot today, but like, you sh honestly, search everything, search everywhere. Always. More especially in, in, in the uh, starting of the game, the starting stages of the game. When you don't have much and every little thing helps. Now, later in the game where, where, where you have basically everything, two of everything, if not a dozen, then you don't really need to search everything everywhere uh, all the time, right? Doesn't mean that it hurts, though. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to still search. That's what I mean there. Sealant. There's a little animal uh, cage right there. Some toxin. Nothing in that bin. Fire extinguisher. Credits. A big bada boom. Ow. Okay, um, I think the next room was the locked one over this way, right? Yeah. Then we can go upstairs and see what we have up there. Let's see here. That fits here and over here. That fits there. And we're in. That is a lot of big bada boom in it. Yes, we're going to blow this up later. I mean, how can we not? Ok, 
because they do come out awesome. All right, yeah, we're going to blow this up later. Computer, all right. Safe. Not for long, it ain't. Let's see here. It's there and there. It's really only this, the only spot that one would fit. This is really the only spot that would fit. That's not going to go there, no. That fits there. Are we missing one? No, no, no. Really? have the two out or yeah we have the two for the outer ones uh this and that would go here there we go there we go take me those soil box i'll take that take them credits right there Get out of that. We'll check that computer in a second. Sarcasm, sulfur, argon, uh, calcium, and samarium. Sarcasm. Soil. Why is dirt so expensive? Or valuable, more accurately.
nothing in there. Don't look like it, alright. personal computer was that? Let's see here. One second, we'll get to the reading soon now. War. We're at war. Uh, by establishing the colony of, of Vesta, the Freestar Collective have forced the UC's hand. Uh, the unmitigated gull, thinking they would they could establish control over a, a fourth star system, such a, a flagrant, flagrant violate violation of the a Treaty of Narion. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors uh, wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently, uh, they claimed that uh, Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, uh, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and uh, the results were everything in we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's uh, defenders uh, were apparently taken by <coughs> uh, complete surprise, which uh, greatly contributed to, to their fatality rate, 93%. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for uh, Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it's not lost on me that this uh, classified facility is actually located within Freestar Collective Space. So goes the great game. Phase 2. Let's see here. Phase 2. It's finally time. Yeah, I, 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 I get that like, it looks like it's really bright here and washed out on, on, on my face cam. Other than the TV screen, there's one light in the corner of the room, and it's facing the wall in, in, into the corner, right? We got, we got like, the uh, wall here, right? Or you got the wall? We got the wall, right? And then the ceiling, and the light's facing that way into the wall. It's actually fairly dark in here. Uh, but this thing here, this little camera, just seems to do a good job with uh, the auto brighty, brighty thingy whatnot. Anyways, <coughs> phase two. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons we had hoped for. So it's uh, time to expand our operations. MAST has finally approved the, the next stage of this facility's operations, Project Pet Shop. Phase 2 will now commence. Stalkers. We've officially stopped work on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the, the field to uh, serve the Red Devils. Oh. Uh, who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some from the planet and fit them with NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is Phase 2. Heat Leeches. Throughout the settled systems, from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, uh, pilots have uh, had to deal with the uh, nuisance known commonly as uh, the heat leech. <laughs> I had uh, my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the uh, New Atlantis spaceport. Uh, my transport was uh, delayed while, a, a, while the uh, deck crew removed a, a few of these filthy uh, little things from the aft, burner, aft thrusters. Sorry. They're attracted to heat, feed off it through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take, the, take a, a full afterburner uh, burst with no ill effects. Uh, no ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. A, a ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% drop in thruster efficiency. 
Working with heat leeches has uh, been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts, uh, they're completely innocuous, save for the heat siphoning properties. Uh, excuse me. Uh, but uh, what if there were uh, a, a way to weaponize them? Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship. Or even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship. Someday, today I fear we lack the means to do either. Alright, well, moving on. Nope, we're not moving on upstairs quite just yet. See how many of these we can stuff inside the uh, the fridge. Really? There's one. There's two. We should be able to fit a third one in there. I think we can fit nine of them in there. Um, we don't exactly have nine of them here. But this should be fun nonetheless. Try and position them so they'd be a little easier to get them in there. Not quite. Um, let's here, take this. Come on. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. I guess these things actually have weight when you're trying to push them around and shit. Which is uh, pretty interesting. Kind of cool. That there, just like so. Let's try and get this one lined up right about there. There we go. Okay. We might be able to stick a fourth in there, eh? Like al along the bottom? Ah, shit. Let's put this away before we blow ourselves up. Yeah, I don't think we're going to fit a fourth one in the bottom there. But we should be able to fit all our oxygen canisters here in the, th in the, uh, the refrigerator there.
All right, there's something whoop, else I want to try once we get these all in there before we blow it up. There we go. All right, so I'm going to save the game here, right? Cool. They, 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 where's the rest of them? All right, well, upstairs then. Oh, oh, also, we have ourselves about an hour left in the stream here today. I know we didn't get a whole heckin' lot done, but, um... Things will pick up in later episodes. Believe me, once we got some money going and, and get some resources and shite, there'll be a lot less reason to go and do this. Okay, now I'm smelling... It smells like someone's making macaroni. I'll be right back. One sec, everybody. Okay, I'm back, and I can't believe I didn't pause my fucking game. Holy shit. Uh, also, uh, shit's on fire, bro. Uh, not the house, but, like, stuff outside. Smells like a forest fire out there. So there's some Something out there is wet and burning. I'm gonna burn if it's wet. Fuck okay. off. That's how. <laughs>
You spin me right round, baby, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. <laughs> the camera's spinning in circles, right? Let's go. <laughs> Cooler. Chicken. Carrot. Nice. Alright, let's go make sure this room is cleared. Yeah, it looks like we're supposed to continue that way. Alright. I wonder if this is what they use to transport that terror morph. How they get it up here too? Like, never mind if there's anything in it, but like, how they get the cage up here itself too, right? Like, holy crap, how they get that in here? Maybe I don't think it even fits through the fucking door. Nope. All right, let's see. You're searching upstairs here. What do we got? Vice grips, cool. Nothing there, gotcha. Hammer, vacuum tape. Oh hey, so some of these can be moved, awesome. Anything back there, nope. Nothing there. Huh. How are you supposed to get that out of there, I wonder? You don't. <laughs> huh. Plunger. Cool. I don't think we have one of these on the ship. We need one of those for the ship. Okay.
Okay. Are me audio is still audioing? The audios are still audioing, eh? Oh, Kiri hadn't said nothing else back there yet. Alright, I'm gonna have to actually read that later. <laughs> I just said, yeah, okay. Didn't actually read it. I had no idea what I was saying. Or what I was agreeing to. Or it's not entirely true. I read some of it. We're discussing our family. We found each other on the internet playing a, a multiplayer game, right? And neither of us could believe that we're from the same town. The same small little town. And then it turns out that we... <laughs> that we may be a family. <laughs> Long lost cousins kind of thing. Crazy looking coffee machine, that, isn't it? Empty coffee bag, alright. Spotlight, the United Colonies on Planet X. Making a better worlds for humanity. the hell is that in there? Okay. Let's see here. This is clearly for the inner ring. It doesn't fit anywhere here on the outer ring. One second. Ah, shit. My fingers are too big. I really hope it works. I think it might be an issue of my Twitch account. Alright, so this one uh, looks like it almost certainly goes there. Yeah, there's nowhere else this one can go. And uh, I don't think there's anywhere this one else this one can go. Yeah, no. Okay, so this one goes here. Uh, that goes here then, and that one goes, yeah, right there. There we go. Give me that. Level three. What is that doing here? This place isn't no uh, mining operation. Why is that here? Anyways, we got level three here now. Um, I 
Buy it for five percent less, sell it for ten percent more. How's that sound, eh? I think we're gonna do that. Hold on a second, please. There we go. So we got about 40, 45 minutes left in the episode. Or the stream, if you will. That'll let me sell all my goods here for a little bit more. Where the hell am I? Oh, okay. Uh oh, one second. Ouch, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. How y'all doing? Did you miss me? Of course you did. <laughs> All right, let's see here. There we go. Do this, do that. Hi, here's my pretty face. All right. Uh, what happened? Oh, there we go. There's that. See, what the heck is this doing here? Helmet stand. Oh, that's a whole hel Oh, interesting. What does that mean? Oh, my. But only helmets. Alright. Interesting. I cannot store that here. Interesting. Wow, I have 4,000 credits. Awesome. Nice. Uh, inventory. Okay, let's see here. Let's take this back then. Alright, so yeah, I can only store the one helmet on it. Gotcha. There we go. There goes the dog. Are 
Okay, whatever that thing is to side the book. Not loot. Take those. Oh, this is Hadwe uh, Hayden Wynn. Oh my God! This is this is the guy with all the reports that we've been reading. Also, I want that. That's for me. Cred stick. Doctor Hayden uh, or Doctor Wynn, emergency slate one. That there's one there tells me that there's more than one. Whoops. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Michelson, Cobb, Sumatri. Michelson, Cobb, Sumatri. Michelson, Cobb, Sumatri. Remember these names, Michelson, Cobb, Sumatri. Michelson, Cobb, Sumatri. I don't think any of these ones had names. I don't think anyone that I've come across so far Couch. <laughs> I thought this guy's name was Couch. I don't think any of them that I've come across so far has had names. Maybe this one that hasn't. Yeah, this one here that we couldn't move. Nope. How did I miss this one? Holy shit. Right, because I only searched this part of the room. I didn't search under the stairs. My bad. Like, I searched out uh, along the wall under the stairs, but... I didn't search the interior of the room under the stairs. Yeah, I, I, I remarked about the toast. Remember the toast? The freaking knife sticking out of it? That's funny. Yeah, I do kind of want to have a collection of mugs aboard me ship. I feel like that would be a little bit cool. see here computer <sighs> terror morph specimen thanks to the UC Marines we now have the second piece of the puzzle a fully grown alpha predator According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made the f made first contact with nearly a hundred made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. Uh, there is currently no record of how it got there, so it was a sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it, or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it Osisio Machina, roughly killing machine. The 
UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terror Morph. I read, I read, fucking English, right? Read rhymes with lead, lead rhymes with red, but lead and, and, and uh, lead don't rhyme, and, and, and they're all spelt the fucking same. I read the official record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be a Xeno, be in a Xeno warfare. Uh, see, th th this is where I feel that this is loosely um, a, ref a loose reference to the Aliens movies and franchises. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's some other stuff that I'm not getting that I don't know of. Goldfish crackers. <laughs> 